They've been sending their sons to war for generations from this corner of America and mourning their loss. From the Civil War to Iraq. That's him in Iraq. Men like Sergeant Danny Leitner, killed by an IED in Ramadi province in Iraq in 2005, leaving behind a mother and four sisters. This enclosed area per population has had more people die in this war I don't remember what they have bittersweet emotions knowing the war that killed their brother is coming to a close. How will you feel when you see the troops coming home being welcomed by their families? I wish they could have brought them home a little bit earlier because now it seems like it's in the same spot that maybe it, I don't I'm no, I don't want anybody to think I'm pro-war or anti-war because I'm not saying any of those. I'm just saying it seems like we're in the same situation now that we were in a few months ago. Why not have saved those few lives? and made those families not go through this. I mean, it's unreal, like we'll never get over this. It's not like someone just dies. It's like your brother, you, you think you're gonna call them when you have your babies. It's not like you, you're not supposed to lose like a, a sibling like that. And like everybody else had to do that when I feel like maybe a few months ago they could have prevented a couple more families from doing that. I think so too. Danny's loss is felt beyond his family, remembered in his local church by his minister and his best friend, who hopes the troop withdrawal leaves Iraq strong enough to go it alone. For every soldier that died here in our country, there's people over there that, that are dying and are being tortured, you know, also. So there's families over there that feel just like we do. So I just don't want to see any more of that going on over there. I'm hoping that, you know, things over there get taken care of. This part of Pennsylvania sent more than its fair share to die in Iraq. The small town of Hollidaysburg's lost three soldiers. From Altoona up the road, another three died. Three more in State College and two in other towns nearby. A dozen dead from an area just 50 miles wide. In Hollidaysburg's Patriot Park, the town mayor, Joe Dodson, himself ex-military, echoes the doubts and questions of many. I don't think we should have gone into Iraq at all. We never found the weapons of mass destruction. Were they there and they took them out before? I don't know that. But no, I think we lost a lot of lives. No, I don't think we should have been there. I, I think the lives lost in Iraq was terrible. It was a waste. I don't think we should have been there. The troops will be home for Christmas another US military adventure is over. While well, the country counts the cost, and many still wonder what it was fought for. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania.